und Win 13. Morning guys, so that's it for the Praia de Arda. Um, we're off to the other side of the country now. I'm not saying we're going to make it all in one go because it seems to be quite a long way. But we should see some interesting stuff on the way with a bit of luck. I'm going to go and find the Spanish border on the eastern side of Portugal. Let's head for the hills! Look at him working hard. Just so you can see out when we're filming. <laughs> it's amazing how dirty they get, as soon as yeah. it hasn't rained. Look at the dirt from the flies underneath as well. Oh yeah. So like, we, go on. Need to pull in somewhere and give it a clean, but this is a big old van. Well, we actually passed quite a few places, didn't we? Yeah, I know, but... That's to get we'll the ladders out. We'll have to get the ladders out. <laughs> yeah. So, the glamour of... Um, van life so we pulled up here so this is just a parking space um, a rest stop that's um, a quite busy road there well <laughs> in Portugal standards there you go that's the traffic <laughs> so we pulled in here last night because it was pitch black and we couldn't drive much further could we and uh, we'd had enough yeah, yeah it, was, it, was, it was a bit of a sun. yeah let's let's come around this way so that's it we can squeeze into the sun yeah. rather than the camera squeeze into yeah. the sun uh, we, we, we had a bit of a um, a journey yesterday, didn't we? God, yeah. So not a lot of filming yesterday. It was a bit boring. Plenty of roads, plenty of misdirections. Uh, the sat nav's not as quick as we need it to be sometimes. And I swear down a couple of times she got her left and right mixed up because yes, it wasn't did. me. <laughs> she did. She said, um, let's keep left, didn't she? Yeah. And we had to go right. And another time she said, go right, when we had to go left. And she put us on the toll road and we got on our nag not to go on toll roads um because we'd rather well, no she didn't put us on a toll road we, we we she said go one way um which we went and then we ended up going down hang on let me just adjust this and we ended up there you go that's better that's it we ended up on the toll road yeah um so we're still at fault <laughs> yeah, <laughs> of course you you got, yeah that's, that's <laughs> it so hopefully today um our final destination if you like um, Don't say that, because that's always that's a horror movie. I think goes oh, yeah, wrong. Fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> where, where we're heading to is only a couple of hours or so down the road from here. Um, you said that yesterday. And yeah, we were going for about five yeah, hours. Yeah, we were about five hours. But we come along. What was it? The N 101, 102, 102, 110. I think yeah. it was. Yeah, that road. It's just pure village. Yeah. Town after town. It's all 30 miles an hour, pretty much. And it was really busy. busy We're yeah. talking London busy. It was like, what? Well, no, it was. It was proper. Yeah, but yeah. Outskirts London. Yeah, outskirts, outskirts London busy. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah it was. It was hard work. So we, you know, our average speed yesterday was about thirty miles an hour. Yeah. Um, so so that's slow. why it took us so long. Yeah. So we arrived here. So let me just show you where it is. So the only facilities you've got is bins. Okay, which bins you know, and a bench. Bins and oh, there's a picnic bench. I think. Yeah. Just about see it there. You can sell our work well used places. <laughs> yeah. Obviously peas for disabled parking. So and you've got these spotlights that were on until six o'clock this morning with an orange glow right in the um van. Now according to Google Maps, um you can actually walk out down there's a, over the top of there where those stop signs are, um, there is actually an old road. But unfortunately, they fenced it all off, so you can't get fence. through the fence. You can't actually get access to that road, which is a shame because um, I wouldn't have minded to walk up there just to stretch your legs. It's chilly up here, though. Isn't yeah, it? but it is. It is chilly. I, I think we are high. Yeah, I think I was having a look on the thing. We're about three thousand feet, I think. Oh wow! Um, I haven't got anything. Um, I, I haven't got anything on my phone. I, I, I'll say it out. I, I don't know. Um, but I was having a look on my sat nav, and it reckons we're at about a thousand feet. So. No, a thousand meters. A thousand yeah, meters. I was say you just said Because it's in metric because we're abroad. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta remember, we're the foreigners now. Yeah, Keep yeah, forgetting yeah, that. Yeah. That we're makes foreign. We're the foreigners. foreigners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, let's crack on. Yeah, yeah. Clean those windows, BH. Yeah, they're all Give them a bit. The Are they? It's a bit smeary. Oh, yeah. I can see the smears. Can I sort them smears out? Who's, who's driving me or you? They're my sort of roads. Hopefully. I've been oh, playing, I've been playing oh. do you want to admit what you did yesterday? Not really. 
<laughs> okay, so we decided to stop at the Intermarche and they had um, solar panels, really big Willow, solar. Willow is gloating here. I'm not, I, no, 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 no. Have I gloated? Be honest, have I gloated? Have you told everybody? <laughs> Yeah, well, I am now, but it's, but it's not gloating. So anyway, I said to him, all right, hang on, do you want to see your back? And he's going, no, no, it's all right. Clunk. So he managed to hit, which he didn't see, and you can barely see any damage, actually. Oh, you can I, have to it. Yeah, let's extend the pole. You're going to see this before us because we haven't actually seen it. He's done some damage. So we're going to have to find a DIY place so Kevin can sand it down, fill it and paint it. I don't know what the extent of it is because... It's only, it's, only it's only cracked the gel coat. I think, I think it's only just cracked the gel coat, it just exposed the uh, fiberglass mounting underneath. So at the moment it's not 100% waterproof, so as I say we'll, we'll stop off at a bricker or something and find, yeah. some, find some filler. Uh, sand it down, fill it up, paint it over. And did I say anything? Did you nag? I didn't know, did I? No. I just went, oh, Kev. Because, like, you know, why do men have to be so freaking impatient? That's what I want to know. But anyway, no point moaning about it, crying over it. It's what it is, isn't it? Hi, guys. So, we were on the top of a hill because I've just driven a couple of miles down the hill. And we stopped off at this parking space because we got quite an amazing view. And we also stopped because we saw this helicopter. You won't be able to see it. We'll, we'll drop in a couple of photos because we've got a couple of photos. But there's a helicopter towing a water bucket. Can't see any fires. Can't see any smoke. So I don't know where it's going. But look at this. It's not a bad vista, is it? That's where we're headed, basically. Over there somewhere. So that we're going over a bridge, y'all. So we just drove in, driven over this fire duct and Kevin just said to me, oh, good park up down there. And I'm like, ain't no way the van's getting down there. I'm gonna show you what he's on about. This is why I get scared my life. Drive vans. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, maybe. I don't know. Right. Scrape the whole of the underside. Look at that. Yeah, I mean, our, our overhang would, would definitely catch on that. Yeah. So, yeah, we struggle, but anybody with a, a normal hang, if you get down there, look at that. 
It's cool, isn't it? Let's be walking. So Kevin was suggesting bringing a van down here. So we've just sat on the bridge and had our lunch and now there's a bit of a beach going on there and we're going to dip our toes in the water. What did you say Kev when I said oh is that water calling you? I said maybe but it's not, it's not great looking water to be honest with you. What's great looking water? Not clear. And... It looks fairly clear on the surface. It's very warm. Um, oh, shit. I got it. Oh, thank God for that. I put my phone down on the wall. Well, a plum. What does the temperature and the say? Car, and the car keys. Oh, and the car Shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we was having lunch on there and I left the car keys and my phone up there. What a plum. Will he dip his toe? No. Job. My job. It don't look too bad. Oh, it's not too bad, you know. Okay. What a beautiful backdrop, eh? Hey? There you go. <laughs> so Kevin's just about to rag off a sofa the audience. <laughs> <laughs> Nice and warm then. Spain, Portugal. Yeah, we are right on the border. We are in, drum roll, Miranda do Duro. Woohoo! Hopefully. 
<laughs> but anyway, we'll, 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 we'll put the uh, name in the, in the thing at the bottom, because like, you know. If we remember. Now we will. So, this is the wall. This is a the castle wall. Yeah. And we are parked up there. So this is a okay for us to park parking place. And as you can see, there's a few vans. It's enough room for the locals to park as well. And let's go through the lovely doorway and see what's in the town.
It was magical to see the griffon vultures. It was quite emotional, actually. There were so many of them. They just come from far, and I said to Kevin, grab the camera. And he did, and we were just blown away. Thanks for joining us this week and we'll see you next time. Take care guys.